wartime economy, guys. If you guys wonder what wartime economy is, this is wartime economy. Okay. Okay. Send some more troops to go right there. You guys go right here. Alright. Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, and that battle with 171 of their men. <laughs> Such a big battle. Um, you guys can actually go right here, because we actually don't have anyone right there. Man, this is just... Like, look at this spread out front. We're about to start cutting Japan, China in half, which is what I love. Okay, then you guys are just going to go defend against all this. That way we can stop having China men move in from here. Um... I mean, I can't defend all my borders. Mm-hmm. And there we go. And there we go. Okay. So we got more Chinese men moving in from over there. 139. Yeah, I don't think you're going to win anymore, China. It's kind of like in not in your favor anymore. No. Move through here. Spearhead right there. Okay. Um. And we have won. Like, seriously, guys, we have won some seriously major battles. In our day as China. Okay, let's see. Rebecca Y. Okay, so. If I was to. Move this right here. And then move these guys right here. That would maybe displace what I need to do. As is, I'm just trying to figure out what, how I'm supposed to move in here. Because the Chinese are rapidly... I'm not supposed to worry about the defense of my own land. Because right now Russia is just losing badly. I'm having to like come in and help the Russians keep their land which shouldn't even be my job in the first place let's see you guys know you guys go up north go help defend China Russia let's see over here you guys collapsing yep they're collapsing everywhere mm. so you know what <laughs> This is just not going to work. China is just honestly way too powerful of a country. And I don't think I'll be able to defend all of Russia. So what I'm going to do instead, because I don't think I'll be able to do a gigantic front, is I'm just going to defend all of my land. It sounds selfish, I know, but the Russians kind of forced me to do this. I didn't want to do this, but the Russians kind of forced me to do this, so abandoning all things, I'm putting up mini outposts all along the borders of of my land, okay. So I don't know how deeply the Russians are going to let him, hope Russia does not let him get military access, because that would be so mean. Okay, but yeah, send these soldiers over there, and send these soldiers over here, okay. With that, I should be able to guard my entire land against a gigantic Chinese force when they eventually come over and try to kill me. And right now, I'm causing... I'm already disrupting a lot of their plans, I bet, because I'm, like, seriously spearheading them in the back. Okay, let's split up these guys even more. You guys move in right here, I think. I think that's what I'm gonna need you guys to do. Move in right there. Alright. Over here we have some more levels. Alright. And you guys are going right there. You guys are going right there. You guys move right there. Okay. So I want this to be done. Then yeah, you guys move over there. We're just what we're gonna have to like I said, we're just gonna have to protect all of China against all oh, I'm going to protect all of Mongolia and all of my natural land against the uh, Chinese. 
which sounds impossible, but it's a much it's a much more probable task than trying to defend all of um it's just the way the war is going so far with Russia. It's much more likely we can do that than try to defend all of Russia. It's just you know what I mean, guys. It's just not gonna happen. No matter how much we want it to happen, it's just not gonna happen. We're not gonna be able to defend that, no matter what we try. Okay, let me see. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to... Okay, all you guys travel at different paces, so... Let's see. All of you guys just go right here, and then I'll eventually de-insign you and start mobilizing you everywhere. Um... Okay, we got more men moving in everywhere. Long live India. Okay. Well, let me go kill these guys and I'm gonna go kill that. Yeah, they're all dead. Go kill these guys so they don't come in anymore. Okay. Got soldiers right there. Making sure, so I got some soldiers right there. And you know, I'll have some soldiers. I have some soldiers over here in the mountains too, so I'm basically gonna be defended against any like Chinese trickery. Which is what I kinda need right now. Is to kinda make sure in the end that we will not be taken over by China. I'm gonna go send some men over there. You guys go up. Move up, move up, move up, move up, move up. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Send the proper soldiers to go deal with the Chinese. It should be done right here, yeah. Go send these soldiers to go deal with these soldiers. Okay. That should deal with that problem. And yeah, we're still moving rapidly towards Beijing, and we got almost a good protection all around, and I'm basically going to leave Russia to its own demise, <laughs> while I protect my outskirts borders, because there's no point in me dying for Russia. That, that's all I'm going to say, there's no point in me dying for Russia. I did everything right, they did everything wrong. Okay, over here we have some more... Chinese men moving in. Okay, once this finishes right here, I'll use it to go break down. Okay. You guys go right here, make sure this does not become an empty void front. Um, okay, and then these guys are actually proper soldiers, so should be able to win that front pretty easily. Um, over here we have all these just like annoying troops that are behind my borders I man we're gonna have to deal with that we almost got we almost have all of okay you guys move in right there that way that way we have all of natural China protected that way they can't actually move into any of these provinces without first engaging me which would be good Okay. I know, I, guys, I, I also kind of realize that my commentary is kind of going down, down, down. But I'm more focused on this battle and trying to figure out how I'm going to win. Send some of our men to go after them. We want to make sure we provide some pressure to the... To these, um... Men. We want to make sure we provide some of it, that way... They don't directly come back at us. Over here we're winning, winning. Okay, and then over here. How did that happen? I'm still wondering that. Well, I have one of my backwards armies. Not really in the sense of the backwards, but just because they're in the back. Go deal with that. Oh man, I wish I could get past this. I can't, they won't let me. Okay. Over here, though. Oh, dang. Dang. Okay. Over 
here we're going to be winning i mean they're not sending as many troops over here i'm guessing it's because they're dealing with mostly russia russia is trying to fight back but i think they basically lost unless they're just unless they're just starting to mobilize but i think we're basically where did these guys where the heck are these guys like when the heck did i get this massive amount of force Oh my goodness. If I'd known about these guys, I would have used them earlier. Okay. Okay, that should be safe. Once that frees up there, then we'll have up a lot of new. Once I'm just thinking, once that battle is over over here, we'll have a lot of new soldiers added to the front. Speaking of the devil, I think we just won that battle. Yep, <laughs> 45 war score. That is like insane amounts of winning right there. Still don't want to lose. Not accepting your offer. Good. I'd have it no other way. All you guys, um, let's see, where are they going to? Uh, let's see, the Chinese force is going to Nanjing, Nanning, everyone follow the Nanning. We need to go kill off this force. That's a big force right there. That's about 200k men. And that's a good sized army. We need to make sure that all dies. Hey, go send some of my own men. To go fight off whatever forces right there. Over here. And then they're gonna be moving away. Oh, what stupidos. Okay, and I got... Most of my forces are now almost all around my border up here. So they won't be able to catch me by surprise anymore. Ugh. We're slowly slowly but surely winning the war against China and speaking of that I better save it because I don't want this to suddenly just crash on me how unfortunate that would be oh man this is this is like a really hard fight like we are really dealing with this fight is like every couple minutes we have to make sure we look at all everywhere otherwise there could be some place having trouble okay I'm gonna move this forces right here that way we completely and it completely completely isolate that region and oh my goodness we're starting with the coast China there's a little I pocketed resistance I'll call this a pocketed because this isn't really a resistance this is just like a pocketed I'm gonna move you guys up to Shishum um move you guys up to this because that's just gonna be easy conquering you guys move all the way over here you guys can move over to Zinching. So you guys will be out of there. The 2nd or 31st. What time are you guys right there? Okay, you guys are good. Um, you guys will be able to reinforce these guys. Um, actually, we could probably select you guys. And you guys go over here. To, to go help more men. There we go. Whew. And all of our forces are over there in Nanning. Making sure that we have enough. This battle is won by us. And these guys can all die pretty quickly. You guys go over here. Um, we're going to go destroy all those guys. Right in the center of here. We're just going to go destroy them all. We're destroying these guys. Battle of Nanning. Oh my goodness. Now we're, we're just talking right now. We're just talking. And the fascists are starting to become more in power. But the most powerful people are the socialists actually. And I think in this entire war, we haven't lost one battle. Let's see. Penzing. Okay, all we have to do is just stop right here. And then watch this. Yep, now they're going to have to stay right there. 
I bet you guys are thinking, what? What are you talking about, James? Well, basically, now since I stopped right there, these guys are going to engage him. So that means now I can spread out my army just a little bit more. But I think these guys are already... Oh, those are Russians. Oh, shoot. Are you guys almost there to this point? Stop hunting down rebels. Go right there. You guys go right there. Got some more soldiers, so now I can use them to go crush more people. Which means... I gotta make sure that this... This whole whole idea is just kinda... Mind-boggling, but right there, that should close up any kind of gap we have right here. Basically, I'm gonna make all these troops isolated from their, um... Friends. Which I'm getting awfully close to. Mm. Just go send some troops over here to go help alleviate some pain from the borders. Move some troops right here. Go destroy as much as you can. There we go. There we go. Alright, we are doing excellent. Over here, do I need to send any troops? I could. Actually, I could go send these troops. They're not going to really matter. Alright, you guys can go right here. Ah, yes. I'm starting to, like, take over all this. Still got all of Mongolia guarded, so that means I got some troops over here, too. More troops over here. I'm going to keep, like, a couple troops right there. That way... Yeah, once I get that, then I'm basically all guarded against the Chinese. The Chinese have no place they can get to me. Unless they want to fight through massive amounts of hordes of men. Which I am completely fine with them because they would probably lose more than me. Even with as much as they have, they would probably lose... Oh, shoot. Go. Quickly go. Alright, I'll use this man right here to actually take up your spot instead of moving upwards. Because we need to make sure we don't lose any... Ooh. Come on, guys. Get there. Get there. Don't... Yes! Good. Okay, so that's going to save that... That province right there. From any, like, hardcore, you know, destruction. Over here. Thing. Let's use these soldiers right here to do that. Huh, I think we're gonna have to wait till this front right here catches up to this front. Huh. I've almost basically destroyed all of China, so we just have a couple more a couple more provinces. But we are doing good, okay. You guys move up. Kanzu. Alright. Alright, and then, let me see. Any front need some help? I got some extra men right here just waiting. Let's divide these guys, actually. It's a little bit too many troops in one sitting, so let's divide them, put them, some troops over here. Dang, the Russians just keep spawning more and more men right here. It's good for me, because then that means I'm getting more and more, but wow. Okay, but we're almost there. I'm still guarding all this spot, because I'm not sure. Because I'm probably going to have to then go, and then go try to destroy all the Chinese over here. How are the Russians doing? Uh, they're getting really exhausted by fighting against the uh, Russian hordes. I can always see it. And... Mm, my massive winds over here got to have been helping us a lot. Uh, currently 57 of that. As soon as we get all of it, it should be fine. We should start adding more goals to that. Alright. I'm not sure if I should move in anymore. So right now we're dealing with some very tense fronts. Uh, hmm. That's gonna, basically what I'm gonna do right there is cut off the uh, Chinese from the Chinese. At least landlocked wise. 
Yeah, move right there. So we actually, hmm, move right there, move right there. Split up your forces, actually. Send another force right there. Covers all that. All right, we have more forces moving in right there. I think we're gonna need more people right here. Looks like the most profitable place with a problem. Over here we have a site breach. I'll be able to cover it up in a couple days. We just need to start winning more of these down here. We've almost occupied all of China. Almost. We're almost there. Almost there, guys. We're almost there. Like, seriously, we are so close to occupying. Of course not. We're almost there of occupying all of China. It took us almost an entire years upon years upon years to do this massive feat. Okay, you guys move right there. Protect this land. We have to make sure they do not gain Gunzao back. Dang. Some of these provinces, they just fight us so hard. And others is just like, yeah, we'll let you win. Alright, but we have slowly but surely reconquered all this. The site breach right here. Um, yeah, I could actually move in my soldiers right here. Almost to Beijing. if that would actually solve the problem, but I'm going to see what happens if I do that. So I move in all my soldiers right there. I'm almost done with this lap backward piece. Okay, any other soldiers that I can muster up? Okay, you guys go this way. You guys go right here. Oh, man. We're gonna have to conquer a lot over here before we move up. Mm hmm. Another conquest. And it looks like Russia's finally getting themselves somewhat together over here, which means they're raising up a decent sized army. Which means I don't have to be too, too worried. And it does look like they're actually starting to strike back at China. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, we have lots of these little tiny battles that we're going to have to start winning. Let me go destroy all of these little tiny armies right here. Then we'll start dealing with... Since these guys are taking nutrition, div divide them.